Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Celebrity Psychic Tarot and Angel card reading. So today, following all the news and the talk that's been going on around Jordan Woods, Khloe Kardashian, Tristan Thompson and obviously the Kardashian, Kardashian Jenners, I wanted to pull a reading on Jordan Woods and obviously I'll pick up on the Kardashians and the Jenners as well and, and Tristan Thompson. I watched the interview last night, I have my own opinions on it, my own views but as a reader I have to put my opinion and my view aside so that is completely aside. I will share my view and my opinion at the end but I am a blank canvas for energy, spirit, guidance to communicate through me for what is going on with Jordan now, what is going to happen to her in the future, where she's going to go. I want to do all of that. As much as this has been an absolute disaster for her, I do think it could be her come up. We've got a lot of angel cards. It's quite rare for me to all that many angel cards actually for someone so there's a lot of spiritual guidance around her at the moment i don't know if she has strong faith but i don't know that i'm gonna say i don't know if she had strong faith but she definitely does now because the situation's been a whole load of rubbish for her like a whole load of rubbish and she's not innocent like don't get me wrong i don't feel like she's entirely innocent in this but um yeah Ooh, more angel cards than tarot that's that does say something to me Mm -hmm. the, the Divine Director Dharma Unfolding talking about karma su supreme protection life force the Shekinah whenever I read for the Kardashians this card always comes out and I swear it always comes out reverse it's talking about expression because they can't do anything in private they cannot do anything in private it has to be in, in, the, in the front of everybody like why can't you just talk why can't you just talk behind cameras? And that's the problem. That's the problem. I feel like that's where... Okay, Chloe was majorly betrayed here. Actually, no. Scrap Chloe for a second. Kylie was betrayed here. Kylie was betrayed. I, do you know what I've got in my head? I've almost got like a courtroom. It's not a courtroom. But I've got like a courtroom vision in my head. And I've got like the angels of the Kardashians on one side so I can actually see like Rob Kardashian on one side and I've got like the angels of Jordan on the other and it's almost like this debate that's actually happening in spirit um, because their families are very closely connected so it's almost like in spirit there's a there's been a breakage in spirit as well which is quite devastating actually and it is like but one thing that is agreed in spirit is why could you not just do this behind closed doors this didn't have this did not have to be played out in public it did not and and i think i think that's what jordan wanted if i'm honest the energy i pick up on jordan she was shocked um because she hasn't said anything until this red table talk she hasn't said a word everything that came out has come out from the kardashian side and that's where she was like a bit like <gasps> taken back because she's like well why couldn't we just talk about this in private why did you have to play it out in front of the world that that's the problem with the kardashians like nothing is private nothing is nothing is private um but let me tell you something Jordan is going to benefit from this situation. So, uh, Serenus is life force, expressing your driven passion, sensual and sexual powers are increased. She is going to benefit from this. She's actually going to come out on top because a lot of people are... Not saying what she did was right because there is that element there that it wasn't. But a lot of people don't like the Kardashians. Let's be real. A lot of people do not like the Kardashians. Chloe, however, is a very favoured Kardashian, but a lot of people in general do not like the Kardashians. Now, if it had just been Chloe who had said something and Kim hadn't have opened her mouth and Malika hadn't have opened her mouth, we could be looking at a different situation. People would probably be favouring Chloe because Chloe is liked. In the Kardashian clan, Chloe is liked. But because the others, Kim specifically, who isn't favoured, decided to open her mouth people decided to side with Jordan. But Jordan is highly protected. 
by spirit because we've got green tower which is supreme protection reverse which means it's enhanced it says you are protected cords are being cut cords are being cut um do you know what i see every cord being cut except and i i've i, I said this from the beginning from the moment i heard the news i said kylie's not going to break off that friendship Kylie is not going to break off that friendship. Whether you see them in public or not, they will still be friends because they have a deeper connection than you or I probably have with anyone that we know. And the Divine Director's Intervention and Purpose. This is actually talking about Jada and Will. Um, divine Intervention is occurring. I know that you're being guided. Happiness is your purpose. She's going to be on top. Like, I'm sorry, but Jordan Woods, as much as, you know, a lot of us may not agree that she should be, She's going to be on top. And this actually talks about... She's going to be fine business-wise and everything because Will looked at this. I don't even see it so much as Jada. Will was watching this and thinking, what on earth? What on earth? And he, it was his concept for her to go to the red table. It was his idea. Um, Dharma unfolding. Remember that you're on a path. Um, remember that you're on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Yeah, she's... All of her cards are saying that in the end, she's going to be on top. And I do see that. I do see her having her own kind of, um, like, hairline or something, like straighteners or curlers or something like that. And it's doing really, really well. Um, her and Kylie, there's, there's going to be no break in that at all whatsoever. No break at all. No break, yeah. Like, these cards all signify it. Justice. Justice will be served on her behalf. Like, J Jordan is going to win from this. Like, even no matter what she's done or what happened, like, the outcome is she will win. She will come out on top regardless. Um, the sun, new beginnings. She's going to start again. It's going to be almost like... Because bear in mind, when... When we think about um, Jordan Woods, we think about her being Kylie's best friend. Well, no more. She's not <laughs> Kylie's best friend. You know, a lot of people probably didn't even know her name. She was just Kylie's best friend. But now she is Jordan Woods. And this is her opportunity to, to step into her own 100% because the Eight of Pentacles talks about opportunities. She is going to be approached by a lot of people. When I first picked up on the situation, I knew she was going to do an interview and I actually thought it would be with Oprah. I actually thought it would be with Oprah. Now, if it's not with Oprah, there could be Summer Yarnler that comes in here. So keep an eye out for that because I don't feel like she's done talking for... Well, she, we might not hear from her for a while, but I feel like she will talk again to someone. But um, after the interview, I do feel like Kylie reached out because... Um, I feel like they haven't stopped talking, if I'm honest. I feel like they haven't stopped talking. And although she may never, ever... Like, let's put it this way. I'm going to go through the Kardashians and tell you the energy that I pick up from them towards Jordan. So, Courtney is unbothered. Couldn't care less. Doesn't want to get involved. Not really interested. Um, Kim is done. And Jordan's done with her. Because um, Jordan was really disgusted by the way Kim acted. Um... And Kim was disgusted in her. So that is dead. Um, Chloe, dead. Never again. Um, Chloe, I think, will sit back and look at this and think, um, I overreacted. I think Chloe will feel bad. Because Chloe's got a heart of gold. I do have to give her that. Chloe's got a good, good heart. Out of all of those Kardashians, she's got a good heart. And I think she will, she'll never admit it. She will never say to Jordan, I'm sorry, for the way that things went but she will feel it in herself but they will never rekindle that um rob again impartial not bothered not not involved nothing to say um kendall kendall is in balance so kendall is looking at it from both sides of the party she has even said to the Kardashians, she said but Gut, but guys I can see it. I can actually hear her saying this but guys I can see it from her point of view though and Kendall is also very protective over Kylie and Kylie is absolutely devastated and torn um but Kylie will not let this friendship go there's absolutely absolutely no way and all this stuff about Kylie knows Jordan like knows her all this stuff about 
her wanting to know what she did with Travis Scott. I don't think that's true. Now, I want to know what happened because a lot of people are saying there is no way, there we go, there is no way you left the party and this guy just kissed you on the lips. Like, that's not what happened. There's no way you were just hanging out and sitting next to him. That's what people are saying. So I want to know what happened. That did she see Trish, Tristan? Did she, I'm going to take that. Did she sleep with Tristan? I'm going to be honest, the answer I'm hearing is no. Were they flirting together? Yes, most definitely they were. Was she drunk? Yes. Have we done all those stupid shit when we're drunk? Yes. <laughs> she was being a normal 21 year old girl and had this been any other situation in any other way, there would never have been this big massive fuss. Not in a million years. It's just because she is who she is and she knows who she knows. Mm. there we go the sun again sun again that's that's reverse so that's about her burning the bridges with the kardashians oh, guys oh my god she lied i'm sorry but when the moon comes out in a in a tarot reading the truth has not been told and this is her version of the truth this is her version of the truth. Um, hmm. There's some... I don't feel like she completely lied, but she twisted it to her own truth. Okay, she twisted it to her own kind of... Um, to her own favour, but not drastically. Like, if she's lying, it's like maybe they were holding hands on the way out and she skipped that part. Like, maybe they were holding hands when she left the party and she just said, oh, we just walked out together and then he kissed me. I feel like there was just a little bit more flirting than she's being honest about. Um, and this is talking about her as well, being on her own. She's on her own in this, but it's made her a bigger and better woman. Um, yeah. Again, we're talking about the sun reverse. So that actually is talking about the way she's felt about this whole situation, just feeling depleted and, you know, <sighs> having no energy. That also talks about her ties being, her, ties, her ties being cut with the Kardashians. And nine of wands reverse, pressure. The pressure that she's felt, she just wanted to escape her own skin. And it's true what she said. When she said in that interview, if I had been a weaker person, if I had been someone who was vulnerable, this could have ended extremely badly because it is bullying. Like, regardless of what someone does, having Kim Kardashian, one of the most famous people on this planet, targeting you and coming at you is intimidating. Regardless of whether you know her or you don't know her, that is intimidating. Um... We've got facing the fear reversed. Um, major spiritual changes are unfolding. Like mm, Jordan Woods is on the come up. She's gonna, she's gonna make something positive of this situation. I cannot lie. Um, I will quickly do a quick brief reading on Tristan Thompson. So, in overall view, is she telling the truth? I'd say she's eighty percent telling the truth and twenty percent not telling the whole truth. Did she sleep with him? No, I don't think she did. Did they possibly hold hands, do a little push on the shoulder, a little like rub on the leg? Maybe, but I don't think it went any further than a kiss and I do think he kissed her on the way out. The only thing I think she probably didn't say is, oh, maybe we were holding hands on the way out and that was wrong. I don't feel like she's told the full story, but I don't think it went any further than a kiss. Um, so, Chloe and Tristan, where are we from here? Because do you know what? Like, if Chloe thinks that, if Chloe is so naive to think that this is Jordan's fault, like, I'm sorry, if it wasn't Jordan, it would have been someone else, Chloe. It would have been somebody else. If it was not Jordan, it would have been somebody else. And she needs to recognise that. Um, it is not fair for her. I mean, how would they feel? Like, if this was Kylie, right? And let's be real, we've been here with Black China, okay? So when when Black China was coming at Kylie Jenner, 
what was the what was the Kardashians reaction they were pissed so how dare they go and do this to someone else it's not right I don't care what she's done it's not right so let's move on to um let's move on to um yeah what is wrong with you Chloe honestly Chloe's gonna forgive this guy do you know what the heck is wrong with you Chloe why would you want to forgive this guy who has done you so wrong like she really loves him we've got the knight of cups reverse that talks about a liar someone that deceives you someone that oh my gosh honestly chloe someone that deceives you someone that lies to you someone that can not be trusted that is tristan and to have the care and compassion card over that chloe is going to forgive him i don't know what even to say about that because i really thought chloe was smarter than that I mean, time to take some advice from someone you trust, Chloe. You need to speak to someone else and really start digging deep because that is not the answer. Like, that is not the answer. Like, she might not... Chloe's going to forgive this guy. Eight of Cups reversed. Poor judgment. Poor judgment. Making a mistake. <laughs> oh, God, Chloe. What on earth? Magic manifesting is reversed that means if she's attracting everything she doesn't need and devotion is reversed which means her spiritual balance is all out of whack right okay oh my gosh i've got to take those so next lastly i want to talk about kylie and jordan because for me observing their relationship they just got a really deep connection and i feel like this would be such a ultimate shame for that friendship to be lost because it's a real friendship and in Kylie's world there's not a lot of stuff and I mean this in the kindest way there's not a lot of stuff that's real there's not a lot of stuff that's real in Kylie's world she doesn't know who likes her who doesn't like her who's fake who wants to be her friend who just wants something from her there's not a lot of stuff that's real for Kylie and that's why this whole thing has just been a devastation because everything she knew now to be real the only kind of things she knew to be true have just been <sighs> i feel for kylie i really actually do because jordan's not just a standard best friend she's a sister and actually <laughs> i don't know if i said this in the last kardashians reading by the way if you haven't seen that i'll leave the link down below yeah hmm yeah Kylie's gonna forgive her. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, 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 mm. Kylie doesn't want to see nobody, no way, no how. She doesn't want to talk to anybody. I feel like the only Kardashian member of the family she's talking to is Chris. I don't think she's talking to any of the Kardashians right now because she doesn't agree with the way they they did this either. She does not agree. And can you t you know how you can tell Kylie doesn't agree with the way they handled the situation? Because she didn't say anything. She didn't say a word. And that's how you can tell she didn't agree. If she agreed with what they were saying, she would have been on Instagram and on Twitter bashing Jordan as well. But she wasn't because she doesn't agree with the way they handled the whole thing. Now, the death card signifies their relationship will never be the same. And that might actually be for the best because they were a bit too codependent on one another. Um, so I feel like, yeah, guys, they're going to be friends. Kylie, I said this before, Kylie is a really... As much as people want to slate her, Kylie's a really nice person. And the Six of Swords talks about peace being re restored, friendships being resolved, harmony being put back together. Um, they're going to be okay. They're going to be okay. You won't see it. You're not going to see it plastered all over social media like you did before, but they're still going to have a friendship. She's part of her life. She's part of her daughter's life. She's part of... Um, she's part of her. Like... So Kylie's in they have and I wanna say this, it's not in a it's not in a romantical way. Yeah, it's not in a romantical way, but they are in love with each other. Like they love yeah, oh I just feel for her, you know, because the Three of Swords talks about heartbreak. It talks about her being heartbroken. 
Um, that's Kylie. Kylie is heartbroken by this. I think more so than anybody else. She is heartbroken. She really is devastated. Not, I want to point this out, not just at Jordan, at the way her family reacted. Because Kylie's peaceful. Kylie is a very peaceful person. And the way they reacted was not kind. Kylie would always want to react kindly to anybody. And the way they reacted was mean. And she doesn't agree with it. And so there is some turmoil in that family at the moment, honestly. And there's some relationships that are going to be ending for Kylie, for sure. But I don't think it's going to be with Jordan. There is Kylie, you know, no matter what you want to say about her, she's not stupid. Um, she's not stupid at all. And they're going to be friends, you know, no matter what anyone says. Like I said, the hermit is about recuperation, going into hiding, taking time out. It might not be in the front of us, we might not see it, but they are gonna be friends regardless because Knight of Pentacles as well is about security, progression, moving forward for the abundance and best of everybody. Kylie's not letting that friendship go. There's absolutely no way. And although she's devastated and heartbroken, let me just pull one more tarot. Although she's devastated and heartbroken, she's that friendship is her life like it's not a joke like that friendship is for real for real her life um five of swords reverse so yeah that friendship's her life and like i said kylie is not talking to a lot of yeah oh my gosh you think guys we don't know the half of it you think that the real tensions between jordan and this family behind closed doors now in the kardashian camp they are yelling and screaming at each other. The Five of Swords reversed is talking about exposure, a tense situation escalating. This situation has brought up a lot of BS for the Kardashians within themselves. They are picking at each other. Like, Kylie, Kylie's not saying anything because Kylie's peaceful. But behind closed doors, Courtney is saying to Chloe and Kim, what are you doing? What are you doing? First of all, Chloe, this is what Courtney's saying. First of all, Chloe, duh, like, like literally. And Kim, it's none of your business, so what are you doing? Literally. Chris is like trying to keep the peace, but the Kardashians behind closed doors, they are falling apart. They are falling apart, literally. This has damaged their family more than anything else. That just fell out again while I was shuffling. So it's the eight of the eight of wands, which again is opportunities. There is an opportunity for them to be friends and they will be friends. And I feel like actually it will make them a little bit closer. They will sit down and speak. Um, I don't feel like they've been face to face yet. Jordan will not move back into the house. Um, that will never, it will never be that kind of, but they will still be close. They will still have a close friendship. And over time, over time, they'll move forward because Kylie, knows Jordan she knows Jordan and we've got Paul the Venetian which is experiencing grace share your gifts with grace waves of inspiration and love are coming to you Kylie's still healing she's still trying to get through through this she's still trying to move past it you know she's still trying to what's the word um make sense she's still trying to make sense of all of this um Phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Yeah, illusions are revealed and released. This whole situation, guys, has shown a lot of people's true ways. Not just to Jordan, because I know she mentioned it in the interview, but to Kylie. It's shown, it's validated a lot of things about a lot of people for Kylie. Kylie lives in a lot of fear and deals with a lot of anxiety because she doesn't trust a lot of people so this this in itself was like oh my god like it was devastating because the one person on this earth that i did trust because she doesn't trust her family either i want to make that clear she does not trust her family either the one person on this earth that i did trust could do this what higher learning you have learned from experience more inner study is now required to further progress they've yeah kylie has learned from this and she's gonna make her own decision and i'm just gonna pull one more angel card but i can guarantee you 
inner strength yeah kylie both kylie and jordan will learn from this they will not be like so codependent on each other anymore um they have established their own grounds um that inner strength is within jordan but they will definitely be friends they will definitely be friends but the kardashians whoop. oh this could be the downfall of them because they are literally behind closed doors they're screaming at each other so yeah my opinion on it when i watched the red table talk i believed every word that jordan said parts i think she did miss out um not that i knew that before i did this reading i thought everything she said was entirely true i think she did skip sections but um i believe her so i hope you enjoyed this video please leave down below your comments because this has opened a lot of conversation for a lot of people so i'd be interested to see what you think on the situation and what you thought of the reading please also leave down below anyone else that you'd like me to read for or any kind of situations um, and i'll be happy to do so please hit a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more videos just like this and i will see you soon for another video bye